to say very briefly this. I speak as the grandson of Irish migrants. We came here, yes, to, yes, to improve our living standards, have a better quality of life, but also to make a contribution. If you look around you, the roads, the buildings were built largely by Irish labour. Irish women staffed the NHS and taught in our schools. They made a major contribution. And you know, every wave of migrants to this country have done exactly the same thing. So I want to say thank you to all those EU workers who came here and made a positive contribution towards our economy. It is a disgrace that this government is trying to use them as some form of bargaining chips in their negotiations. So tonight, we'll be voting, voting to protect the rights of EU citizens here, solidly and determinedly. But let me say this, if the Tories, if the Tories vote it through, and they most probably will because the Tory rebels look as though they've capitulated, We'll be doing everything we possibly can throughout these new negotiations to ensure the EU citizens are protected and also UK citizens in the Europe itself rights are protected. Why? Because there's only one race, it's the human race, because we're internationalists, we believe in international solidarity wherever people live and work. So whatever happens tonight, whatever happens tonight, we maintain the campaign. We maintain the campaign to protect EU citizens here so that they can live and contribute and plan their lives. That's the same for UK citizens across Europe. We will not let these Tories divide us. We will not allow them to split our communities and promote the xenophobia that they've done so far. It is a matter of straightforward what? Solidarity. Solidarity, brothers and sisters.